Hi, I'm Sam, and I'm Asian. You might be thinking that's why I have all these books and equations around me because I'm trying to study like every good Asian does. If that's what you think though, you're racist. The real reason I'm here right now is because when I was a kid, I had to get straight A's or else I'd get whooped. Bomb back from school. Look what I got. A, B? No good job start with B. Only A. You come, come no, here. No, no, please. No, no, no. A engineer. <laughs> So when I told my parents I was going to UCLA to become a CS major, they were very happy. Until they realized CS stood for communication studies. Communication? You don't even know Korean. How you communicate with your own family? Now I was okay taking these whoopings for a while, but last week, things got worse. After graduating college and a full year of post-grad, I told my parents, I'm gonna make YouTube videos for a living. YouTube? What YouTube stand for? You too stupid for a job? That shit. Get out. Get out. Wait, what? Hey, okay, okay, okay. So I've been sleeping outside the house the past couple days and things weren't too bad up until my parents changed the Wi-Fi password and I realized I couldn't upload any more videos. That's why I'm here at this library. I'm here for the free Wi-Fi so that I can upload videos, but I also realized that this isn't sustainable. So I'm gonna win my parents back. How? By bringing honor to my family. Now, in order to make my parents proud, I initially had plans to become a doctor, but then I realized I don't believe in science. So then I decided to become the second best thing, a lawyer, but then I realized I don't believe in laws either. That left me with the only other acceptable career, an engineer. That's actually what I've been trying to study. Oh, I'm out of battery? Hold on. Excuse me, can you keep it down? Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, we got a physics midterm and we gotta study because our professor didn't teach us anything. Wait, you're telling me professors don't actually teach? Uh yeah. Have you ever been to a college? Huh. When I was a child, I really wanted to be a teacher because if you think about it, it's like the coolest job. You're like directly impacting the next generation. That being said though, I don't think my parents would allow me to become a high school teacher. I need the clout of being a college professor. I know it's probably way more difficult and it might require a lot of work, but I know with my heart and my attitude, I know that I can do it. Nah. Instead of becoming a professor, I'm going to convince my parents that I'm a professor. All I have to do is find a reputable school near me, and hopefully with some work, I can convince a professor to let me speak. Oh, that was quick. Wait, what am I even supposed to speak about? I haven't been to college in years, like what are they learning? It's not like I can just drive over to UCSD and ask college students what they're learning about, right? Yo, shoddy. What are you reading? I said, Shoddy, what are you reading? A book. Ladies, 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 what are we uh, learning today? Uh, um, I'm working on physics. Um, uh, ne neurobiology. Hmm, I don't know anything about physics, but at least we're in a library. Fish, fist in your face. There it is, physics. Oh, okay, this shouldn't be too bad. Inertia is a property of matter. What time is it? Oh shoot, I gotta get to class! I'm Sam again, and it's a little lecture on books, physics, and uh, neuroscience. How many of you guys know what a book is? <laughs> um, who here has taken a physics class? Out of you guys who took a physics class, what does this equation mean? No answers? 
I don't know the answer either. Um, <laughs> I learned this in my social networking class, but I clearly didn't learn it well because I have no idea what any of it means. The only thing I know is that this is the equation for virality. And what that means is whether you're talking about COVID or you're talking about YouTube or TikTok like going viral, this is the equation for it. Look at these two videos. Tell me the differences. I feel like one of them is very niche because it's like UCSD and uh, like college students. What, what do they have in common then? They're about pain. <laughs> they're about pain, they're about pain, right? right? The only thing I remember about that equation for going viral, somehow it takes into account that if you just look at the successes of something, you'll never be able to find the root cause for the success. Like people might think like, hey, my favorite YouTubers are funny. As long as I'm funny, I'm gonna go viral. Well, there's a whole bunch of funny people that aren't viral, guys. And so you can't compare yourself just by looking at the successes. Okay, in case you haven't picked up on it yet, this isn't actually a lecture about books or physics or neuroscience. The real point of this lecture is to show all the things that I learned in college that I never actually knew I was learning. I really do not know what that equation means, but I do remember that I can't just compare myself to what's working. If I, if I do that and I just try to mimic that, it's not always gonna lead to a success. If I'm trying to do what everyone else is doing, like there are YouTubers already miles ahead of me that are better at this than I am. But if I try to do my own thing, no one else has done that yet. So I'm already ahead. So run your own race, that's lesson two. And that lesson is probably way more important than remembering the equation on how to go viral. You see, sometimes the things that you don't realize you're learning stay with you longer than the things you're actually trying to learn. That's actually why I created this video. The point of this video isn't just about me trying to avoid being disowned by my family or trying to give a lecture. It's about me trying to encourage all of us to try to live the life that we want to live. I wasn't lying when I said I wanted to teach. It'd be so dope to be a professor, but never in my life would I ever think that I could have had a shot at giving a lecture at UCSD. Bro, you can't even spell physics right and you do YouTube for a living. Like for real, what are you gonna teach? How to put hot girls on thumbnails? Don't listen to him, he's my conscience, not yours. That being said though, I have a lot of the same doubts and insecurities that most of us have. I don't think I'm good enough for my family. I don't think I'm good enough for my job. I don't think I'm good enough to do some of the things that I want to do in life. That being said though, I try not to let that stop me. Why? Well, because you never know how people are going to respond when you just ask. Can I come in now? Hmm... Nope. Who knows what a simp is? <laughs> oh, no one's gonna admit to it? 